Here we go, talking about robotics at 9.22. I thought I had this video already recorded, but I couldn't find it uh, last minute, so here we go. So I'm gonna come to you tonight and talk to you about what you're going to do tomorrow in class. And so this challenge is called Bridge the Gap. This is one of my favorites. I'm challenging you, I want this class to ramp up their design and their ideas for this challenge. I'll give you the grading scale and uh, the challenge here in just a second. So this challenge is called Bridge the Gap. And so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to build a robot that will travel over this gap and get to the other side. Now here's where the challenge becomes important. By tomorrow, well tomorrow, excuse me, so on Thursday, when I come in on Friday, you have to have a robot built that will travel over a three inch gap. So right now, if I move this over, this would be about three inches. And so you have to have a robot by Friday, when I call your group number, I will set the uh, table three inches apart and you have to drive a robot across this three inch gap. Now, I know this is a robot that was used in the last challenge. So as soon as I drive this in here, this is gonna go like this and it's gonna tip down in there. Please, please, please put someone underneath here every single time you try it. We do not want these dropped on the ground repeatedly, please. So this way, and even if we turn it around backwards, we turn it around the opposite way. And the challenge was this way. And we drove it this way. As soon as it got into here, okay, it might make it this way, but as soon as it goes here, it's gonna tip back probably like this, and then it's gonna get stuck and it won't go any farther. So this design, as cool as it was for the last challenge, would obviously not work for this. So you're gonna to have to come up with something that's gonna travel over this three inch gap. Now that may seem pretty easy. That 30 points or 30, three inches, excuse me, is the base for the first grade. So this is basically three inches is the zero. In order to get an A on this project, you need to get a gap that has to gap 13 inches. So for example, if you only make four inches, you only will get 10 points. 20 points, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and all the way to 13 for 100. So to get an A on this project, your robot has to travel over a 13 inch gap. All right, so hence the name, Bridge the Gap. You can design this as anything that you want. You cannot use any external parts, only the parts in your robot kit. You can also, um, you must use your other programmers. So whoever programmed the program, the robot, on the last challenge, you need to switch over to the other person. Even though this is a fairly simple uh, challenge moving forward, it's just basically forward or backwards, depending on how you uh, decided to, um, to program it. But the challenge is bridge the gap. So by Friday, when I call your group, you need to be able to cross over 30 or three inches in order to get the, the points for, uh, for Thursday. And then from there, from on Friday, you'll continue to work from three to 13 in order to try to increase your grade uh, up to that point. So if you have any questions, I know Caleb and Hosanna both have completed this challenge um, before. Um, they're not going to give you hints or answers. They're here to just help move the table back and forth to make sure that you can uh, practice bridging the gap. So good luck and I will see you on Friday.